block of wood. I hope this one isn't too big. I think it'll work. This is what came out of that. Look at how wet everything here gets in the morning. That one's not as bad, but like, holy moly. Well, you can take everything I said about wheat harvest being over and throw it in the garbage, disregard it. Because we're on our way to cut some acres for a neighbor. Since the tractor I used for our stuff is all disconnected, I'm gonna use mats that he used because he got the alternator put back in. So we're on the tired tractor this time. made it out here. It's 11 o'clock. Still too wet. So we're gonna go back to the farm. This is Douglas's last dump on me for the grain cart this year. I know he's very sad about it. Today, we're sending more combines down south to go help some more neighbors. We got done with the other guys up north yesterday. And I am not grain carting. I'm doing something different. I was supposed to be running the high-speed disc that we got as a demo, but then Perry needed help on a bagger project, so I went with him to replace a key pin or something. I'll show you right here. There was a key in here that was broken, so all it was doing was spinning and it wasn't turning the PTO and it was gonna break stuff and it was already broken, so we had to go fix it. It didn't take much heat to get that off? No, it just... Yeah. The hardest part of this job was lining that back up because there's that shaft that's in the bagger and then the piece that needs to go back on that shaft and you have to get it lined up but it's you know suspended in the air and it's moved since then. So Perry was managing the remote and my arm is not in a good place right now but I switched that later because when you're lining stuff up like this if it falls that's going to break my arm. And then Perry got in the tractor and moved it forward because we couldn't move the crane anymore in the spot that we wanted to. So then we tried again and it was still not going on right. So then I climbed on top of it because it was getting pretty close. And then we still couldn't get it so Perry had to get up there and then Perry got it finagled on and I did not get that on video because whenever something goes right, you know, I can't get it on video. <laughs> And then a little explanation, this is a bagger with a truck unloader on it, so you can see the truck parked over there. This just makes it so that they can dump trucks onto the bagger and not just carts. Um, we do not have one on our bagger, but we do sell, well my boss sells quite a few of them because they are handy to have if you need to transfer stuff or you have a lot of trucks running and not as much grain car power. So that is what that is for.
I said I was gonna have a new ride today. But we're not doing that because it's too rainy. So instead, we're gonna go put tires on the bags. After harvest is done, we go out and put assorted tires and pallets on bags because the wind likes to catch the ends of these bags and we only put tires on the ends. So it's not the whole bag, it's not like a silage pile, but we do put spare tires and tires that are dead on the ends of these piles. And you can see that they, <laughs> the tires sit in the yard and they collect a lot of water and they're already nasty because these are tires that we've been putting on bags for a while. So you put the, you know, you like to put the big fat tires on the bottom and then you throw more tires around the top and then sometimes you'll throw a pallet in the middle. I'm could smell what that smells like. You're not supposed to be down here. You're supposed to be up there. Look at how pretty it is. Ah, look who decided to roll back in. of them leaving the shop the first time after harvest got over they were just going down south to help some other neighbors and on the back and i was just about to leave this morning we are measuring bags and then we'll put more tires on more bags so more bag things today those bags are moved. If you don't look at how crooked it is, it's fine. I so got distracted. Left the door open. Let's see if I can make it down the road without losing one. So while I am waiting for Craig to get back, I'm gonna go do what I can with the tires. We're almost out of tires, so everything south will be covered everything up north we'll need more tires for. Well, ah, they didn't stay on. There is three bags on this site. I forgot about that. Oh, it's windy if you can't tell. So without the tire on, the bag over here is going a lot worse, but I need Craig's help to roll that one back in. Without the tires on, this is what it does. And then these bags will start getting tears in them. And then the tires also keep the deer off of this side. So until we extract it, the tires stay on. Oh, 
I was told yesterday that those big semi tires are kind of a pain in the butt to put on bags. <laughs> and now I know, I get what they mean. I'm gonna see if that other long bag, if I can fix that one by myself, but I don't think so, cause look at it. She's just blowing, that board's all crooked. I don't know, I'll go try it. We'll see how it goes. This green is volunteer wheat. There's a lot more of it up here because this is where we dump and all the grain carts are constantly running through. So that's a little bit of an explanation on that. What the heck? Good. Yeah, start rolling under. So we aren't done with tires yet, but we are going to finish the tires up north. We also need to get this done. Ah, oh, look, it's my best friend and it has a tire problem. So we are going to fix the tire on that and get this moved out of the middle of the yard. And then we're gonna go measure bags and tire bags again, because everything this way of the shop is done. We just need to do everything that way. You gotta go up just a little bit Some more. more? Okay. Okay. Maybe. You Maybe a little bit more. So Probably we can like need... lift it just a tiny bit. We'll lift what? That's good. Okay. Now do we gotta... We probably gotta get a pry bar to get this thing. 
Okay, I'll um, grab one. Studs, huh? In the meantime, I'll start doing the squishy, squishy. Yep. I need knee pads. <laughs> hey, I got it. Come here quick. Oh. I will. In fact, where the fuck is our lug nuts? Oh, right, you got it. You might even be able to get a couple of them started, eh? Mm -hmm. If I had that vast jack this thing. Otherwise I'm gonna hook an arrow. Are we trading this off? Push your knee in. Ah, we are awesome. I am trading it off. I don't care what he even gives me for it. If he gives me twelve dollars, I'm gonna say thank you. <laughs> Not worth that, eh? No. Got him. You just grabbed my nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in YouTube. <laughs> like it's recording. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to start the air anyways, unless we have a do we have a zoomie in here? I'm um, not in a service truck. <laughs> That's what a concave will do to a man. <laughs> Cody looks so tired. Oh my gosh! Jeff! Just for the record, I'm very cold. I'm gonna guess Jaden is not very cold. Thanks for watching. As always, hasta la pasta.